name is Miss Griffin, and I teach culinary arts and advanced culinary. Just to walk you through the classroom a little bit, I'm going to start with the syllabus. You might have already seen it before. At the top, you're just going to find Instagram, email, YouTube, and website, just to reference if you ever need to. Below that is Google Classroom codes. All the students are already logged in, so you don't need to worry about that at the moment. But Google Classroom is the main way that I push out information and how they turn in everything. So that is something that we will be on every single day. Below that is the Remind codes. They should be joined. If not, you'll be able to see an infinite campus. They'll have a zero out of 10 in the Remind. The reason this is so important is because I'll often send announcements reminding them for some things during the week. So whether it's a test or an ingredient that they need to buy, I can remind them all as a class. It's also easier for them to contact me that way. I've been getting more emails than I am ever used to in my entire life. And it's very easy for them to get buried, especially if I open it and then don't respond right away, out of sight, out of mind. So when they use Remind, it's an app on my phone and it comes through just like a text message. So I'm able to give them quick responses back. I've even messaged students already that were cooking and they had a quick question mid recipe and I'm able to kind of get to them if I'm by my phone. So that's the Remind option. Um, topics covered in this class, we're starting with food safety, knife skills, how to read a recipe, and then we basically go through different food groups and cook food related to that food group. So we're going to start with like eggs and dairy, for example. So we're going to make like pancakes and omelets, French toast, mac and cheese. And then we'll talk about fruits and vegetables and we'll make some pumpkin items because it'll be more in like October. We'll make a minestrone soup. We'll make um, recipes that involve fruit. So it just kind of goes along with whatever we're learning. So we'll have activities that tell us about the topic, and then we'll also have labs related to it. As I mentioned before, Google Classroom is the biggest hub. There's tons of different applications I'm going to use throughout that, but they will have instructions, and they've already done it so far, like Flipgrid they've already done, YouTube they've already done. Um, so everything is pushed through Google Classroom. So even if I'm using another um, platform, instructions, and it being turned in will be through Google Classroom. Zoom is really important. That is for daily attendance. So I either see them on a Monday, Tuesday, and a Thursday, Friday, and Wednesday I see everybody. So they have to come. I take attendance at the beginning of the class, and I'm normally asking some type of question during attendance to get to know the students. Please make sure that they are on time to class. So in my class, a lot of the information is right at the beginning. So if I want to show them how to make omelets, I'm going to wait about five minutes till everyone's signed in, and then I'm going to make omelets in front of them. So if they're late, they could miss the entire demo, and now they don't have a video of what I did. And then they have less time to cook as well. So it is important that they are on time. Throughout the semester, there's going to be a variety of activities. I really would love for them to cook because we are in culinary arts. So if they're not ever going to cook, maybe this wasn't the best fit for them. But cooking is not required just because I know it can be hard to get to the store sometimes. But it is very, very much encouraged. So if they aren't able to cook for some reason, there's going to be an alternate assignment for them. So for example, in my advanced class this week, we are making pigs in a blanket. So I demoed it for them and then they were dismissed to cook it. There were a couple students that weren't able to make it to the store. So they read a whole brochure all about hot dogs and they had to create 10 questions um, that they had from the article. So it's related to the recipe, but it is going to be a written assignment if they're not able to cook. Um, what I asked of you guys as parents and guardians to just help try and keep them from getting distracted, check their progress in Infinite Campus. Um, sometimes I write in the comments if they are missing something or if they got marked down. So check Infinite Campus. 
make sure they're logging into Zoom. Feel free to ask questions. Remind them to always be positive and uplifting in the class. It can be very scary to cook at home by yourself and it might not always come out beautifully. So I would just, I'm always encouraging them to say nice things and encourage us to all get in the kitchen and be complimentary. To show you what Google Classroom looks like, it will always look like this when you enter, obviously different periods, um, but it'll always tell you what's upcoming, what's due, the date it's due. This Zoom link is always, always, always gonna be there. So whether it is a Monday or a Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day they're logging in, they click on this link in the center and it takes them to it. And this will never change. Classwork, this is where they find everything. So here is it listed so they can jump from week to week if they were missing anything. Um, but obviously the further we get away from week one, the further down it goes because it doesn't matter. So week one, here's the agenda and I listed what they did, took attendance, breakout groups, and then we went over the syllabus. The next day, they had to join or mine. Thursday, they did an introduce yourself flip grid activity. So here I can see who's turned in, who's missing on that one. Here's my flip grid assignment. So I'm only missing three for that one. Week two, here's the agenda. And it'll list the whole week, Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then here's all the information that we covered that week. So another thing I will do is I will release the ingredients a week before the lab. So tomorrow is the 27th and I'm going to release this shopping list for vanishing rolls and this will be for the week of August 31st to September 6th. So I put up here vanishing roll shopping list. Demo is Monday, Tuesday. Lab will be Thursday, Friday, depending on what period they have me. And then here's the supplies. So I put approximate because maybe you have cinnamon in your house and you could be like, oh yeah, I have about a tablespoon of cinnamon. Sugar, oh, definitely have a fourth cup of sugar. Ooh, I don't have butter, but I do have margarine. That's fine. So just listing it here so that you have an idea of the shopping list. Um, you can always make substitutions to a recipe. So say the students were making chicken tortilla soup and you are a vegetarian family. I am totally okay with you leaving the chicken out or making a completely different soup, like a minestrone soup. That is fine. I'm trying to get them cooking. So if it's different, I'm all right with that. Um, I'm not going to have them fry it all this year. It's mainly going to be oven and um, a couple of things on the cooktop like pancakes and french toast. So I think that about covers it. Um, showed you what Google Classroom looks like. The syllabus is in there. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can.